Hi guys, welcome back to engineeringtalks.com. In this video, we'll see the relations between the load, the shear force and the bending moment. So, happy learning and if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe and press the bell icon. For deriving these relations, let's consider a simply supported beam which is subjected to a uniformly distributed load like this with rate of loading W Newton per meter run. We know that for solving the numerical problems, we have to convert this UDL into an equivalent point load whose value will be equal to the product of the rate of loading and the length of the UDL. Here you can see that the UDL is spread over the entire length of the beam. The length of the beam is L meters. Therefore, the length of the UDL will also be equal to L meters. Now the point load will be equal to W into L and it will be acting at the center of the UDL. Center of the UDL will be at a distance of L by 2 meters from both the ends. Now, due to this load acting on the B, we'll have reactions at A and B. Let RA be the reaction due to hinge support at the end A and let RB be the reaction due to roller support at the end B. Now, RA and RB will be equal to W by 2 each in order to resist or oppose this externally applied load. In order to find out the shear force and bending moment variations along the length of this B, we have to consider a section like this. Let this section be at a distance of x meters from the end A. Let fx be the shear force and mx be the bending moment at this section. Now, the shear force and bending moment at this section can be found out by considering either the left portion of the section or the right portion of the section. Let us consider the left portion of the section. On the left portion of the section, we have a reaction force and a UDL which is spread over a distance of x meters. Now, we have to convert this UDL into a point load whose value will be equal to the rate of loading into the length of the UDL. Here, the length of the UDL is x meters. Therefore, the equivalent point load will be equal to W into x and it will be acting at the center of the UDL. So, here the center of the UDL will be at a distance of x by 2 from both the end A and the section. Now, on the left portion of the section, you can see that we have a reaction force RA acting in the upward direction and a point load WX acting in the downward direction. Any force acting in the upward direction on the left portion of the section will be considered as positive and any force acting in the downward direction on the left portion of the section will be considered as negative. And shear force at a section is defined as the algebraic sum of the forces acting either on the left portion or the right portion of the section. Since we have considered the left portion here, it will be equal to the algebraic sum of the forces acting on the left portion of the section. So, the shear force at this section that is fx will be equal to plus ra minus wx. We know that ra is equal to wl by 2. Therefore, fx will be equal to wl by 2 minus wx. Let's now differentiate this fx with respect to x. Therefore, dfx by dx will be equal to 0 minus w which is equal to minus w which is the rate of loading itself. Hence, we can say that the rate of change of shear force with respect to x is equal to the rate of loading. Let's now find out the bending moment at this section. For that, let's consider the left portion of the section. On the left portion of the section, we have a reaction force RA acting in the upward direction and having a tendency to rotate this beam in the clockwise direction with respect to this section and a point load WX acting in the downward direction and having a tendency to rotate this beam in the anti-clockwise direction with respect to this section. Any moment in the clockwise direction on the left portion of the section will be considered as positive and any moment in the anti-clockwise direction on the left portion of the section will be considered as negative. Therefore, the moment at this section due to RA will be positive and moment at this section due to WX will be negative. Now, the moment at this section due to RA will be equal to plus RA into perpendicular distance. Perpendicular distance between RA and the section is x meters. Therefore, it will be equal to plus RA into x. And the moment at this section due to this point load WX will be equal to 
minus wx into x by 2 because x by 2 is the perpendicular distance between this point load and this section. Therefore, mx is equal to plus ra into x minus wx into x by 2 which is equal to wl by 2x minus wx square by 2. Let's now differentiate mx with respect to x. Therefore, dmx by dx will be equal to d by dx of wl by 2x minus wx square by 2 which is equal to wl by 2 minus w by 2 into 2x which is equal to wl by 2 minus wx. Now you can see that this term is equal to fx, right? Where fx is the shear force. Therefore, you can say that the rate of change of bending moment with respect to x is equal to the shear force. In the previous videos on shear force and bending moment diagrams, we have seen that the maximum bending moment occurs at a point where the shear force is zero after changing its sign from positive to negative or vice versa, right? Here from this equation, you can see that dm by dx is equal to shear force. Now, bending moment will be maximum when dm by dx equal to 0. Therefore, shear force will be equal to 0 when the bending moment becomes maximum. And that is the reason we obtain the maximum bending moment at a point of 0 shear force. Please do like and share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.